All right, some of you may have seen this clip that I'm about to play, but if you haven't, just wait for it. Hey, it's Andrew Huang. So that was a video of a guy named Hanoi who I've been chatting with a bit. He's a Google employee and he's working on this project um, called Differential Digital Signal Processing. Um, and there's a, an element of that called timbre transfer that we're gonna look at today. So jargon, jargon, jargon. They've trained a bunch of AI neural network They've trained a program to know what certain instruments sound like so that when you put any other sound into it, it'll make that sound sound like the instruments. Let me just show you how this thing works. It's really not like a product yet, it's just a GitHub thing, and I would describe the process of working with this as like editing punctuation in a Wikipedia article, but the results are really cool. So first you're gonna go and click this thing to uh, install, install the things. I don't know. It takes a couple minutes. We'll fast forward in time. Little spinny wheel stops. It says done. Now you can move down here and choose whether you want to record audio directly in with uh, whatever microphone's connected to your computer or uh, what I'm going to do is upload. I'm going to use this random guitar loop that I found in a sample library. So the original sample sounds like this. So now we are going to load a model and they've got violin, flute, flute two, trumpet, tenor, saxophone. And I don't know how to make your own, but you can upload your own. Let's just go with violin to start. Press that play button. Let's listen to how it did making that guitar into a violin. <laughs> it had some trouble with some of the faster notes, and also, uh, I should note, this is monophonic. So it's really, it'll do best on material that only has one note at a time, and there were some kind of plucky chords in that guitar sample. But I think, you know, it sounds like, in moments, a real violin. Let's try uh, another model. Flute. Load. Resynthesize. <laughs> I do really like those breathy sounds. Still having trouble with those fast notes. I'm gonna try and feed it some simpler melodic material, but I do like these rhythmic breathy sounds. So I'm just gonna click that three dot menu and download this, save it for later use. Next experiment, string quartet. Na, na. Okay, dang, it really wants to turn those long notes into a bunch of really small notes, like like tremolo bowing. So um, I don't know what's up with that, but I do still think there's some value in this, um, like just for creating your own samples to work with. Like if we just take the tail end of this, got a cool like violin chord stab there. And that flute thing that I saved earlier, I really like that kind of rhythmic breathy, occasional little note popping through vibe. That was neat. So in the spirit of creating some new interesting samples for my final experiment, I wanna try and use the system completely wrong. Like feed it some audio material that it's not really meant to digest. All right, so we got a fun modular patch. I ran it through all the models and my favorite results were with the tenor saxophone. <laughs> now what if we layered that on top of the original sound? Yeah, it's like I just invited Moonhooch over. 
Hey, so I filmed this video a couple months ago, and since then, Google has actually released a bit more of a public-facing version of Timbre Transfer, which they're now calling Tone Transfer. Uh, the GitHub thing that I was using is still up, and I'll link to that as well. But uh, yeah, there's just a better, sleeker kind of web interface for working with these tools. Also, it's the last couple days to sign up for this round of my online class, so if you're interested in learning all about how I create music, uh, starting from no ideas all the way to mixing and mastering and having a finalized track, uh, check it out, learnmonthly.com slash Andrew. I'll link that as well. And um, yeah, hope you're having a good day. See you in the next video.